people problems. They take Emmett's run to the 19. Good pump oh, fake. Wide open is Irvin. Off his fingertips. Michael Irvin, who leads the Cowboys with 65 catches and leads the NFL. He's the first receiver over 1,000 yards. Did they go for it? Irvin started a slant move there and now right back outside. And Whitson wanted to make a play inside. He wanted to cut off the slant, and it's just overthrown by inches. And Burline did a fine job of pumping, then throwing down the field. Well, what you've got to like about Irvin, that... Uh, Irvin is competitive and cocky and confident, and he went after Daryl Green, one of the game's best, and this week he's uh, going one-on-one -on -one against Woodson. Well, his size helps. He's 6'3". And just believe it or not, Dick, at University of Miami, he had Blades, Perryman, and himself as receivers. Two guys that'll be great pros. Three guys that'll be great pros. Flag down third and long, and right over the wrist. That's, why did he come back? That's him, Michael Irvin, right over the top of Woodson, who seemed in position for an interception. Let's check the penalty. It's against, apparently, the Cowboys. Bring it back, says Red Cashin. Uh, the quarterback choice. His mother, Pearl Irvin, asked her when uh, Michael was a youngster on Thanksgiving Day, what was his uh, favorite treat? Oh, the drumstick, and he wanted the biggest one, and he wanted all of it. Don't you dare even cut a piece of meat off the drumstick. I'm sure his sister Janet's and the whole family is watching. Almost. Is that pump fake? And there he's open. Michael Irvin. Irvin had Rod Woodson beat, and they just missed connections on the goal line. Well, that ball was thrown almost 70 yards, and it was thrown accurately 70 yards. So anyone that would suggest that Burline isn't a top-flight quarterback, nice out-and-up move. And Rod Woodson is playing that first break. This is the third time today that first break's got him moving in the wrong direction. He's coming forward as Irvin goes by. Well thrown, just missed by inches. Third and long, 20 to go. Burline almost intercepted. It was right there for Everett to grab. But he was trying to watch his man and the ball and uh, only able to break it up. He leads with four interceptions, the Steelers. Now this ball was, you see the ball just didn't have any tight spiral, so it got there late. And the last two passes that Steve Berline has thrown were those kinds of passes. That's really a tough one, because Thomas Everett was right there to make the play. Pittsburgh often. On the middle, incomplete for Irvin. Looking for Irvin. He goes there again. He's got it, and he could go all the way. Rod Woodson can't get it. off his own man. Yeah. Boy, two great weeks back-to-back -back for Irvin. Last week against the Skins, or last Sunday, just four days ago, nine catches, 130 yards and a touchdown. Today, eight catches, 157 yards and a touchdown. I, this right here, and I believe that's going to be Lake. You'll see the pattern come down and break in, but Lake will overplay to the outside, and that was where the error is. If he came inside out on the ball, he'd have been fine. But you see him come to the outside and let the receiver inside of him, and it spells touchdown. 
Woodson showing his great sprinting ability, but Bourbon strong enough to kick out of that young Urban, who was the number one pick out of the University of Miami. In fact, he told his teammates when they went from the Landry era to Jimmy Johnson, they said, well, what's Johnson like? What's he going to be like? He said, you better get yourself in shape right now. And that was six months before training trip. Back in Irving, Texas, the employee owners of Ada Salute the Games MVP, Michael Irvin of the Dallas Cowboys. This is 66-yard touchdown, his longest of the year. He had eight catches today, 157 yards for the leading receiver in yardage in the NFL this year. And that is his 73rd catch of the season. And that's a career high for Michael Irvin and a happy family, mother and wife watching and cheering today. The Dallas Cowboys, final seconds, defeating the Pittsburgh Steelers 20-10. Thanks in the booth to Chris Hall and Jason Gear for their fine help. Jimmy Johnson's team still marching toward a possible playoff.